What's good YouTube? Vikasa Kavi here. So, for our second video of the night, we have a request from Yobo. This one is some stand-up. We have Carl Barron, Just for Laughs, Part 1. So, very excited to check out some stand-up for you guys. It's always good to have some laughs. We certainly already had some laughs in our first video of the night, so I figured this would be perfect to follow that up with since we're already in the <laughs> laughing section of things tonight, right? We have already had some laughter tonight. I figured we will continue that and do some stand-up since Yobo requested this specifically. I really love stand-up. I think everybody loves stand-up. Always good to joke around, and I'm interested to see what kind of jokes we get when it's from like an Aussie perspective. I've never checked out many Aussie comedians, so it will be interesting to see the kind of jokes that we get here and how they tie into y'all's culture and everything like that. I'm very interested in that. I, I like the, uh, like, I know, like, Steve Irwin was always hilarious when I would watch him. I always liked his fucking humor. Steve Irwin always cracked me up, so, like, I can relate to that kind of humor from my childhood watching Steve Irwin, and I always thought that that was a really fun style of humor, so if this is anything like that vibe, then I'm gonna fuck with it a whole lot. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Very excited to just have some laughs with you guys. And maybe he might make some talking points in here that we end up discussing a bit as well. That happens very often when it comes to comedy. They often take serious things and put them in a funny manner that allows you to look at them and really <clears throat> start to understand how silly certain things in society can be that we take so seriously and stuff like that, those sorts of things. So I appreciate that about comedy. It's always a good way to poke fun at the things that are going wrong in life or things that are going crazy in the world. You bring a little humor to it and it brings some unity and understanding to each other. That's the beauty of comedy. So we're going to dive into this. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you for building an amazing community here with me where we can talk about all of our problems and we can be here for each other. If you're going through anything, whether it's mental health, addiction, or you're just having a stressful time in your life right now, join us in the live chats during the premieres. Hang out with us. Cheer yourself up a bit. Get to know everybody. If you're comfortable with it, let us know what you're going through and we'll provide you with some advice. We've all been through things and pulled ourselves out of them in life and we have plenty of advice to offer. I'm a recovering alcoholic and drug addict so it really means the world to me to have a platform where we can support each other and encourage each other to grow and stop doing those things that are hindering our progress i love you guys we're gonna get into this i'm vacasa Kabi. a reaction video a day or two keep the doctor away fuck those apples this is carl baron just for laughs I know what i'm talking about avi i have to speak really slowly otherwise people don't understand my accent you know, like I checked in the hotel, you know. G'day, mate, how you going? He goes, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> <coughs> That's true, though. <clears throat> Other accents, whenever they're spoken super, super fast with that kind of alliteration, right? That's very fast and common to them with the slang and stuff. You'd be getting some funny looks, right? When it comes to that sometimes. Australians are really cool accent. I've always liked the Australian accent. I've always thought it was a very unique and neat one. Even the slang, especially the slang that I've learned since I started reacting to all of these songs and breaking down these lyrics and learning the slang that you guys use a lot more. There is so much creative wordplay inside of the Aussie language like it's very beautiful and I think one of you guys said that y'all had like over a hundred aboriginal languages or something like that it was a huge number and I couldn't even believe it when I read it yeah it's, it's wild to think about language right just him saying that made me think about it because it's like if you aren't well listened to when it comes to hearing Australian accents, it is hard to understand when it's fast talking, and y'all tend to talk really fast too, that's the thing about it, y'all are fast speakers as well, it's awesome, I love it though, it sounds awesome. 
You know, like I checked in the hotel, you know. <laughs> G'day, mate, how you going? He goes, I'm sorry, sir. I'm, Hello, how are you? <laughs> so the expression you got over here, you know, you call... Uh... <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, my God. That's my default. Anytime. <laughs> yeah, that's my default because I know anyone can understand that. Like, if, if I have any doubt that, like, the communication might not be fully understood, that is the go-to statement because pretty much everybody understands that right there. Hello, how are you? Like, most people will recognize that no matter what. Yeah, that's true right there. I like that. He has a good sense of humor so far. Early on, right? <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> it's like an expression you got over here. You know, you call uh, flip-flops flip-flops. <laughs> we don't call them that in Australia. We call them thongs. <laughs> you know what you call thongs over here? Women's G-strings. Yeah. Nobody told me that the first time I got... Yeah, that is true, though. It is a G-string, though. Yeah, that's the proper name for it. But we have thongs and G-strings. They get called both here, right? You'll hear both terms here. So, I get... Yeah, that's the thing. Like, flip-flops or thongs over there. Flip-flops go on your feet over here. <laughs> it's fucking weird, man. It's. I wonder how that happened. I'm curious. I, I wonder if there's a history behind that development in language. That would be an interesting thing to look into, the history of the language of fucking... <laughs> the correlation between those two. That's ridiculous to even think about, man. Then? <laughs> see the conversation I was having with this bloke in the street. He go, man, when she'd been over, you could see a thong. I said, whoopie do. <laughs> what are you looking at a thong for? <laughs> See, it was popping out the top of her jeans. So what was popping out the top of her jeans? Her thong. Her thong was popping out the top of her jeans. Yeah, so you say that to one of y'all, and you're thinking, like, well, they got a whole other problem going on. Did somebody kick them in the ass or something? <laughs> like, that's what y'all be thinking. <laughs> that shit's too funny, man. I love it. What's the friggin' thong doing popping out the top of her jeans? He's no man, when you look down at jeans, you can see a thong. <laughs> so she must have loose jeans on. <laughs> I said, boy, the way, where's the other one? <laughs> the other what? I said, thong, they always come in twos. <laughs> he said, what do you know about thongs? I said, I'll wear them. Oh my God, this guy's delivery is so quick. He's like snappy with it right one-liners man he's a one-liner kind of comedian i like it i really like it he's funny he's funny man I said do ya i said yeah <laughs> said when i said when i'm feeling hot oh dear <laughs> it's double meanings it's a little entendres right using poetic and lyrical techniques inside of his stand-up. Very brilliant. He understands language very well. That That's very good delivery, for real. That's some of the best delivery I've seen. He's very good. When it's cold, I put a sock on first and put the thong over that. Oh. <laughs> What's the big deal? My mum oh. wears them, my dad wears them. See, are we talking about the same thing? I said, I don't think so. I had a girlfriend 10 years ago. <laughs> no, no, I've had other ones in between that. I'm talking about this particular one. She used to oh. wake me up in the middle of the night and ask me questions, you know, just out of the blue. Three o'clock in the morning. Carl, what? What? <laughs> she said, tell me the truth. I said, I'll try. <laughs> she said, do you find me attractive? I said, I can't even see you. His body language is funny, too. I like his expressions. He's a funny guy. He really is. I'm enjoying this. What do you mean? I can't even see you. <laughs> yep, that's a guy for you. That's, that's a typical man response for it there, if I've ever heard one. <laughs> I 
I drove her mad. She went crazy because of me. I drove her nuts. <laughs> she started hallucinating at the end. She started coming home late and I going, Carl, I'm seeing someone else. Huh? <laughs> I said, there's no... <laughs> His ability to just fucking bend the situation is brilliant. You see how quick that was? It's so unexpected. It takes a second to sink in even because he just breezed right through that like he wasn't even saying anything, right? He just breezed through that. But it's one of the funniest bits that he's done so far. He said, and then she starts hallucinating, <laughs> saying that she's seeing someone, <laughs> someone else. He says, I'm thinking she's hallucinating because I can't see her. There ain't no light here. <laughs> you gotta fucking love it, man. He's funny as fuck. I can hear you, dickhead. <laughs> she says, Carl, I'm sleeping with someone else. Oh. I said, you're not. It's me. <laughs> you ever wonder where words come from? I thought about that the other day. I thought, where do words come from? <laughs> at one point in history, there were no words. We all just walking around looking at each other going like that. <laughs> you know, one day someone went, hey, we need some words. Because words are just noises, right? Like, <laughs> that's a noise, but yeah. it's not a word. <laughs> His ability to just effortlessly switch topics as well i admire that i love when they can just switch like that out of nowhere we were just talking about how language is cool at the beginning and now he's actually talking about how language is cool the very development of itself right i like him i like him he blends in thoughtful with his comedy and that's always what you want inside a comedy is that thoughtfulness about the world and things that go on as well but you add the like I said you add the humor into it and it makes it very enjoyable and easier to take in for everybody that's the beautiful thing about comedy but word is the noise for word <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like numbers and you can use noises too. If you ever, you know, you think noise is, is, sounds stupid. You know when people talk a lot and they won't shut up and you just want them to go and they won't. You just make a noise and that just gets rid of them. They go, oh really? I go, mm -hmm. That'll work. It's like numbers, one, That'll two, three. Work. Where, one, where do we get one from? One, why is it one? Why wasn't it whoa? <laughs> it could have been Two could have been three could have been would have made that Jackson song a bit different. A B C. It's easy as <laughs> oh god, I love him. I love him. His character is everything. The fucking spin. That's classic right there. Implementing the culture into it as well implementing pop culture into it with michael jackson right and the jackson five right <laughs> you gotta fucking love it man i love that he tied that in to the language fucking piece that he <clears throat> added the numbers in made them into the noises like that very creative and then has us all with a nice reference to pop culture i always fuck with the way that they put this together. Stand-up is not an easy thing to do. It is an extremely difficult thing to actually be funny on command, right? To just be funny all the time is really a natural skill, and some people just got it. He's one of those people, he's probably made people laugh his whole life and just decided to get on a stage and say what he says to people in his regular life that makes them laugh and that's what i that's the vibe that i get from him and that's why i'm liking him so much is because you can tell that he's just a naturally funny person two could have been <laughs> three could have been <laughs> would have made that jackson song a bit different a b c it's easy as <laughs>
You know, instead of saying a thousand, you could have said... <laughs> now we wave with our arms. Looks stupid after a while. Could have been with our legs. G'day, mate, how you going? All right? <laughs> instead of saying, see you, you might have went... <laughs> but instead of good thanks, you went... <laughs> Would have been fun walking in the shops these days. G'day, mate, how you going? Give us <laughs> coffee. Uh, pies, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tying in of the body language makes it so much more funny. He is off the wall, man. He really is. <laughs> Would have been fun walking in the shops these days. G'day, mate. How you going? Give us coffee. <laughs> uh, pies, thank you. <laughs> How many kids you got? I've got whatever you have got. <laughs> Johnny, I've told you, I've told you times. Stop playing around, I'll tell your mother how is your wife, mate. She's pretty. <laughs> oh, shit, it's half past. I better go. Okay. Right. Oh, he's too good, man. The body language is what makes it the best, man. He is very, very creative. Yobo, thank you. I fuck with this. It's go it's always golden to have some fucking laughs like this. He's genuinely funny. He's just a funny guy. We gotta check out some more stand up stuff on here, guys. I think we should do that. Guys, we should check out stand-up on here as well as music because it is always good to have some laughs. And like I said, we can always have some interesting conversations based on the humor inside of this on serious topics. He just said what could have happened with language if we would have made different decisions and went with more noises mixed with words. And he just, and body language as well. <laughs> he just showed us what could have happened. And I'll tell you what. There's a universe out there where that's how they are. I bet you they have a blast. That's that's what I gotta say. <laughs> if there's a universe out there where that's what they're doing, <laughs> they're having a fucking blast. That is that is some wild wild times inside of the universe with that kind of communication. They are interesting. That that is interesting right there to think about. Right? You always got to think about stuff like that. It's very interesting, man. Yobo, thank you for this. I really enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed the laughs. This was some classic comedy right here. I love it. Original video in the description, as always. Subscribe and support to all of the people that we have on the channel. That's what we do this for. Get these things out into the world. Implement the topics into our own lives. Just have a good time. Spread some joy and some laughs. Tonight we've been focused on joy and laughs a whole bunch, <laughs> right? Eminem had us laughing in the last one with his classic style disc bars, and we had genuine comedy inside of this one, questioning human language and the development of words and where it could have gone in an alternate perspective, right? <laughs> I love it, man. This is very creative. I really enjoyed it. Thank you again, Yobo, for the request. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for building this awesome community with me. I'm Vakasa Kavi. A reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Have a beautiful one. Thank you for everything. Peace.